Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So before I start this video, I really want to bring attention to what is happening in Palestine right now. I always try to use my platform to talk about things that are going on in the world. I feel like I have a very like-minded following, so it's always something that I'm comfortable talking about. I've never had a problem raising awareness about what's going on in Palestine. I don't know who I want to address. Like, am I supposed to address people who don't know what's going on? Or do I address people who are maybe like on the fence about this whole situation? I don't think I want to sit here and recount everything that has happened since the 7th of October. I feel like people are very aware now of what's happened. I just want to focus this part of the video on talking about all the innocent Palestinian lives that have been affected. I want to spread awareness about the atrocities that have been happening in the Gaza Strip. I want to raise awareness about all the innocent Palestinians who are suffering. Israel has always gotten an abundant amount of support from Western media, from Western politicians, from celebrities. If you just read how they talk about Palestinian people in news outlets, how they're portraying this narrative of years and years of media propaganda, not even since the 7th of October for the past 75 years. People now think that this is a two-sided war and people think that this is a fair fight and that this is Israel defending themselves. It's heartbreaking and it just continues to dehumanize and devalue Palestinian lives to the point where now that this atrocity is happening, now that the Gaza Strip is being relentlessly bombed by the Israeli government, it doesn't seem like a massive deal. No one is calling it what it is in the media, which is a genocide. It feels like genuinely nobody cares. And I can come on here and give off loads of statistics and tell you how 7,000 Palestinians have been killed since the 7th of October. But I just want to like reiterate that those are people, those are innocent people and innocent lives and it's just really sad to see that they've been so devalued in the media that, that there are actually some people in the world that are cheering this on and that are in support of a genocide and just to kind of show you how devalued Palestinian lives are. This is a quote from the Defence Minister of Israel. said that there will be no electricity, no food, no fuel, everything is closed, we are fighting animal people and we are acting accordingly. And this is one from the Israeli Prime Minister himself. We will turn Gaza into a island of ruins. They don't care about what they're doing, they don't care about how many innocent people are dying and how many innocent people are going to be traumatized from this forever for the rest of their lives and i just want to make it very clear that i don't support hamas i think what happened on the 7th of october was a tragedy and i think what has been happening for the past 75 years is a tragedy and if you can mourn the lives lost in Israel on the 7th of October, then you can look at all the lives being lost now as a tragedy as well. This isn't a matter of religion, it's not a matter of race or ethnicity, it's a humanitarian issue. I think everyone should be raising their voices for the Palestinian people. These people have been through unimaginable amounts of trauma no matter how you try to spin it it's just not justifiable sorry if this is all over the place i'm genuinely just speaking from the heart but i just want to say that the misinformation being spread in the western media is really terrifying it's allowing people to justify what is happening right now to innocent palestinian people it's something that has been happening for 75 years not just from the 7th of october so if you are someone who is on the fence about this or you are someone who has not researched enough into this and feels like it's a complicated issue. It's not a complicated issue. I, If you are watching this, you have an internet connection. So please educate yourselves. Please raise your voices. Go to protests. This is what is changing people's perspectives is by speaking out on this topic. I will leave a list down below of press that are in the Gaza Strip and it is very eye-opening to watch everything that they are documenting right now. Please let me know of some charities that you can donate to. I know that there are charities who are already established within the Gaza Strip and who already have like supplies and were prepared for situations like this because as I said there's no humanitarian aid being allowed into Gaza right now. I just want to say if you're Muslim please keep making dua. Don't underestimate the power of dua. It's really important that we keep praying for them. Yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as always and I hope you guys are okay because I know it's a really really heavy time. 
Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new here, my name is Zara. I love autumn and I love making these kind of autumnal cozy vlogs for you guys. I feel really inspired this time of year. I thought I would vlog today because I have a really cute day planned. It is a Sunday, I am going pottery painting with two of my best friends. I've been pottery painting quite a few times now. Actual experience is really therapeutic because you kind of just sit in silence, like everyone's concentrating and there's like jazz music playing and it's just a really nice vibe. I really recommend it if you've not done it yet. Even if you're not good at art, you can kind of look at ideas on Pinterest and like replicate it. I really want to try and get a bowl this time. Every time I go, they never have the bowl in stock. They only have the cups left. And I've painted like three mugs now, so I really want to try and get the bowl. And I'm also getting my nails done today, which I'm super excited about. I've not got my nails done in so long. But this is what we are working with. I'm gonna go for an almond shape and get burgundy or like a red color. I, I'm gonna get going now. I will kind of show you little bits of my day. Okay, I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day before I go. I've got this amazing trench coat on. It's like a leather look trench coat. And this was from Naked Fashion. I think it's out of stock now, but if I find it, I'll try to link it. I've got these jeans on that I got from Zara. They're like straight cut jeans. These trainers are from this brand called called Victoria and they're so comfortable. I've been wearing them non-stop. I worked with them over on Instagram. I got this ribbed jumper from ASOS and then my little Marc Jacobs dupe from Amazon. <laughs> It is Wednesday, it's the middle of the week. I've just come home from work. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I am a teacher. So if you're wondering, that is what I do. I don't think I showed you how my nails turned out. And I love them. It's so funny because if you work in primary school, if you work with kids, they notice everything about you. Like anything I change, they will notice and they'll be like, oh miss, like your nails, you painted your nails. Or like the first time I wore a ponytail, they'll be like, miss your hair's up. If I'm wearing glasses, I'll be like, miss, why are you wearing glasses? It's the cutest thing. And yeah, a lot of them like my nails and I just thought it was so cute. But I went for like this almond shape. Honestly, I think red nails are my favorite. I don't know about anyone else, but when it gets to the middle of the week, I just need a little refresh. I like to do that little refresh in the middle of the week. I feel like my room's a mess. My bed's not even made, my hair is greasy. So I would come home, go on a walk because the weather's still really nice. Like it's crispy outside. So I've got a really exciting package that I wanna show you guys. So it, I got it on Monday and I've been waiting to open it because I wanted to vlog it for you guys. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna go on my walk. I'm not even gonna bother to get changed because honestly, I'm quite comfortable. I'm just gonna fill up my water bottle and then I'm all ready to go. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back from my walk and I wanted to show you the exciting package. In a few videos, I'm actually going to be working with PLT and they really kindly sent me one of their advent calendars and I'm so excited. Obviously, I don't celebrate Christmas. I thought I would just open it all with you guys now because I'm dying to see what's inside. This is what it looks like inside. That's so exciting. That is so fun. And I'm just gonna run through everything really quickly. Okay, I'm opening number 17. Oh, nice. It's a beauty blender. Got one of the Cetaphil mini skin cleansers. I got one of the Triangle Powder Puffs. I love these. I got a little lip liner sharpener. Again, I feel like I needed that as well. I got a Carmex lip balm, a hyaluronic lip plumper. This is so cool. It looks like a little pen. You never have too many eyelash colors. Gua sha? Is it called a gua sha? That is so fun. It's from Revolution. It's very heavy. Plumping and hydrating lip mask. I'm so excited. I'm gonna use these all today. Got a Carmex moisturizing lip balm. Honestly, I'm probably most excited about these Carmex products. I don't know how people do advent calendars. Like, I'm way too impatient. I would definitely open the whole thing. Ooh, Stila stay all day waterproof eyeliner and it's like the coal one that you can put in your waterline bump and fill lip liner oh my gosh this looks so pretty 
Wow, this is so pretty. Mini little Morphe mascara. Powder brush, that is so nice for under your eyes. Two satin scrunchies. It's the Pixie Hello Kitty um, collab and it's their glow tonic. I, I was waiting for this. I knew there would be like some self tanning thing in there somewhere. Oh, I thought it would be the Molly May one though. Oh my gosh, I've got packaging everywhere now. Um, but yeah, I'll just, I'll just put the camera down here so you can see a little overview. Yeah, that was so fun. I'm really excited about this lip plumping lip balm i'm also excited about the plumping pen and of course carmex you can have, never have enough of carmex and the mascara the half lashes this brush was pretty cool and then the mario badescu and then this pixie wow thank you plt yeah guys i'm just gonna clean my room and then obviously get ready for work tomorrow i've taken my makeup off and showered and blow dried my hair but yeah let's clean up my room and then i'm gonna go to bed <music> these are my silk pillowcases from amazon they come in so many different colors i've got a pink one as well but yeah these have really helped my hair i feel like they're less it's less frizzy in the morning and so yeah i'll leave a link down below i think two vlogs ago i showed myself getting this little pumpkin pillow from home sense i actually love it. it makes me so happy it goes with my little garland that i've got going on and then I got these furry pillows from Donald. They have loads of affordable pillowcases. Actual bedding is from Primark and I love Primark bedding. Okay, my dressing table isn't that messy so I'm going to tackle that next. Just got this new caffeine eye cream from the Inky List and it says it is best for tired eyes which is perfect for me. I was looking all over TikTok for the best eye creams and a lot of people were saying this one was really good and the applicator is just like that, it doesn't go directly on your eye. Okay and last random thing, I actually fell into the snail mucin i don't know what it's called side of tiktok and i ended up buying this off amazon i actually really like it so yeah i've been using this i've not finished it so i can't give a proper review okay my room is all clean now i'm so glad i did that little reset but i'm way too tired to do a face mask like i said i was gonna do so i think i'm just gonna get into bed and read my book so yeah i'll see you guys on a different day hi guys so it's sunday today and i've not really been doing anything exciting today i did go to hobbycraft the other day it was actually in my last vlog i went with my older sister and they had such cute autumn bits in how do you feel seeing all this? Oh, make your classroom so cute. I've just got this for my classroom. So it's just these two leaf felt leaves. And then these little pumpkins are so cute. I don't think I ever showed you what I got, but I got things for my classroom. So adorable. I want to show you. I'm going to make this little garland and I'm going to hang it up where the book area is. So this is what I picked up and... I can't get over how cute it is. I got these little felt leaves that came in a three pack. They had loads of these mini pumpkins and they had black and purple versions of these pumpkins as well, but I just went for these. But honestly, Hobbycraft had such cute things. So definitely go check them out if you haven't already. And you can kind of see what they had in my last vlog as well. I'm gonna get my hot glue gun out and I've got some string. I've got two types of brown string. this is what I ended up with I think it's so cute I can't wait to put it up but yeah I think these will look so cute in the reading area we've been learning loads about autumn and what happens to the trees and how the leaves turn a different color thank you so much for watching I hope you're enjoying these vlogs that I'm putting out I will catch you guys in the next vlog <laughs>